people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. For those dwelling in the land of deep blue, light has shone. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. We come together on this feast of, also the feast of St. Andrew. We'll pray for a simple man in Montreal, built a beautiful shrine to St. Joseph, a man of simple faith. We come now asking his intercession and all the saints and angels to hear our prayer for mercy and for peace as we begin our Mass. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord our God, friend of the lowly, who gave your servant, St. Andrew Bissett, a great devotion to St. Joseph and a special commitment to the poor and afflicted. Help us through his intercession to follow his example of prayer and love and so come to share with him in your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Afflicted when he has no one to help him, 
He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. that is with them. 
not just a teacher, not just a healer, but God himself, who is the Lord of nature, who is the Lord of the universe. So many times I at the shrine, I was there so many years, and sometimes in the morning I get going about this or that, and my head would be spinning, and I get myself going. And sometimes even feeling like I wasn't uh, ready to celebrate Mass. But thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father, Son, and Spirit. That usually, always, not usually, always, by the end of the Mass, I left differently. That's when I got there. So let us pray for the real presence of the Lord. And I'm sorry I didn't know that uh, after this Mass, uh, you all had adoration on Wednesdays. I guess this is my first 8 a.m. Wednesday Mass to know that. So it might have a real message for me in that too, that, that linger with the Lord, linger with Him. Yes, we'll have the Mass, and maybe you do have to leave, of course, you know, about your day, but uh, this extra special time of lingering with Jesus, I need to do that, you need to do that. We'll pray together then at the end of the Mass with the Blessed Sacrament exposed, that we can linger with the Lord and really truly invite Him into our boat. Lord, the seas are, are topsy turvy. I need your presence, I need your, I need your peace. So amen. We'll continue now, of course, with the rest of the liturgy and then have some time with the Lord. First, let us pray for the church, the body of Christ, that the church can proclaim the truth of Christ and his message of love, reconciliation, and peace for the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our leaders of our church and the leaders in our government, governments, that they be guided by the light of the Holy Spirit to respect all life, especially the unborn. For this we pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for our parish family that we can continue to grow in faith, hope, and love with the Lord and with one another. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pause in silence to lift up our own particular needs today. we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today's Mass is offered for Edward Hogan, Sr., by Teresa Hogan. For her, for Edward and their family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God in great faith, we place our trust in you as we place these petitions before you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. The fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mixing of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, who have become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Will it be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts? Lord, watch for you only we please pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father sacrifice in your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church look with favor Lord we pray on these gifts of your church in which are now offered not gold or frankincense or myrrh but he who by them is proclaimed sacrificed and received jesus christ who lives and reigns forever and ever amen <clears throat> the lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all of our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with all of the, <clears throat> with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint Andre, Saint Louis de Montfort, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We stand together now in confidence and in peace and pray together in the words our Savior gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Father became visible and has appeared to us. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever-deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Call the Eucharistic ministers up. keep saying Merry Christmas today at least today is the January 6th traditional epiphany um, so when the light is revealed to the nation so let us pray for that light as it's streaming in coming into the church now let that light shine in your hearts for all to see my brothers and my sisters the Lord be with you Amen. May Almighty God bless you all Father Son and Holy Spirit Amen. our mass is ended let us go in peace Amen. thanks be to God <clears throat>